Welcome back to the channel, Tech of Tomorrow, here with JJ from ASUS, going around the room showing you guys all their new products. Now we're gonna be taking a look at the p 9 x 79 e WS. Now this thing just has a lot of new features coming to market. They've released a board similar to this before, but this is an updated version with a lot of new features. And now we'll let JJ tell us about some of this great stuff. Yeah, so like you talked about, actually, uh, we already have a P9X79WS, which is already a beast of the board. It's got dual NICs, awesome overclocking ability, full Xeon, ECC support, even four-way SLI support. But we had users that wanted even more. So this is generally targeted at content creation, so people are doing audio, video production, uh, they're doing any type of overall content creation. Um, in addition to that, some of, some of the just high-end enthusiasts that want multi-GPU board setups also are always interested in WS. So this one kicks it up to 7 PCIe expansion slots. We've got dual PLX Gen 3 switches on here, so that gives you just gobs and gobs of bandwidth. So you can imagine either if I'm running, you know, three-way, four-way SLI configurations, two triple slot cards, I've still got spacing, or if I'm doing content creation, you can imagine maybe multiple HDMI capture cards being connected to camcorders and DSLRs to bring in tons of bandwidth and video being brought into my system. So let me ask you, so this board pretty much was geared for the guy who games, but also works, right? Sure, it has totally. all the gaming features in it that you want, but it's also features for those people who want to work. So even though it's labeled as a WS motherboard, I know a lot of you guys say, oh, can I use a WS motherboard for my gaming? Yes, of course you can, but not everybody actually works. This board's geared for the guy who plays games, but then also at the end of the day, goes and actually works on his computer and uses it, right? Yeah, definitely. If you're somebody that has both usage models, or you're like you said, you're just somebody that's targeted at doing, uh, you know, content creation, you need just a platform to build on, and this is gonna be in your office, and this is what you're always doing work on, it'll work well as well. So it's got a lot of flexibility. Uh, we've gone ahead and also updated the NICs on here, where historically we always use Intel NICs, uh, and our WS series usually use the L series, which are the professional series. This one's been updated to the latest generation I series network controllers, which even offer better performance, more management options, pretty much are the cream of the crop when it comes to what you have on integrated network controllers. So does that help with connectivity, staying connected, how fast it goes, what, uh, what kind of stuff can performance, people look for? Performance is gonna be affected too. You're also gonna have better actually CPU load. Not a lot of people realize, let's say if I'm transferring tons of different video, maybe full uh, workstation images, backups from systems, large high definition based content, when you really tax up actually a network controller, you could sometimes be using 15, 20, 30% CPU utilization just on transferring stuff to the network because it's such heavy load. Uh, when you have really high quality network adapters like what we're being integrating here on the board, CPU load can generally drop to underneath 5%, sometimes 3%, 2%. So an amazing um, amount of difference, freeing your CPU up to do other things. Of course, doing. and you can imagine that if you're using content creation, maybe you're rendering your 1080p video, 2K video, you're doing DSLR photography, editing, you want all your CPU freed up to be able to do that, but you still want to be able to maybe do stuff in the background with your network. Plus the management options on uh, the Intel NICs are extraordinary, especially for people who need to be able to customize, maybe packet control, jumbo frame options, virtualized environment options, all kinds of kind of uh, higher level levels of functionality. It's a really great choice. If you guys don't know what that really is, what it means is that you can go in, you can set up your NIC and you can assign what you want to be of importance. So if you're downloading one thing here, it's not important, you can classify that as low. If something else you're doing, you can classify it as high and prioritize it, correct? Yeah, you do actually have uh, prioritization options within VLANs and a whole bunch of other stuff. So really cool options that we have there. I'm really liking this, this big, huge silver cooler right here. That's just yeah, looking well, nice. Well, that makes sure, you know, with WS, it's about 24 hour operation. Not a lot of users always realize not all parts are intended for that. Uh, for this type of product, of course, you're gonna a huge amount of heat maybe from all these GPUs, all these devices, plus the PLX chips. So we want to give you something beefy, reliable, it's going to make sure and cool it well. But moving over from there, we've also added some additional uh, SATA controller functionality. So we actually have our brand new SSD caching 2 controller on the motherboard. So this is great for users that need advanced storage but with improved performance for mechanical volumes. So if let's say you want to attach like a 2 terabyte, 3, 4 terabyte drive, but you need to improve it because you're handling heavy workloads, maybe uncompressed 1080p video, 2K, 4K video, heavy, uh, you know, um, photography editing, you can add either one SSD, two, or up to three to keep improving the performance of that large mechanical volume so you have the best experience. Excellent, that's gonna be great stuff. So overall, I mean, that rounds out some of the awesome new features that we have here. And of course, we keep all the classic technologies like our USB 3.0 Boost, awesome UEFI, great overclocking if you're interested in it. And of course, uh, for the guys that need the best stability and the highest level of performance, Xeon support, so you can support up to 16 core CPUs, and of course, ECC memory support. And this one's also 16 phase power as well, correct? Correct, all digital power design as well. All right.
Well, there you guys have it, folks. Brand new motherboard going to be coming out. When's this thing supposed to be released, JJ? Um, we're targeting towards hopefully the end of Q1, maybe very beginning of Q2. And what is the suggested manufacturer's reseller price right now? We haven't set that price, but because it's going to be positioned above the current X79 WS, expect a higher price point than that. Okay. Well, you got it, folks. We'll see you guys back on Tech of Tomorrow with JJ for more stuff soon.